This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. The Valparaiso City Utilities Department of Waterworks issued a water boil advisory in some neighborhoods after a water main break on Ransom Road in Valparaiso. Homes and businesses in Candlewoods Meadows, Greenfield Creek, and the Brookshire Apartments are encouraged to boil their water as a precaution, as are property owners on Ransom and Goodrich Road. Valpo's Water Microbiology Lab is testing water for bacteria and will lift the boil advisory within 48 hours unless additional testing is needed. New retailers have recently opened at South Lake Mall in Hobart. Size opened in the two-story Super Regional Mall, and it's on the lower level by Forever 21. Size is a unique collection of fashion, blending high-end style with streetwear vibes, marketing and business development manager Kristen Folletti said. Boys Locker Room also opened at the mall earlier this year. The youth clothing store targeting a male customer base aims to be a go-to destination for stylish and on-trend clothing that keeps boys looking sharp and feeling confident. And in sports, it was a sad weekend in the Munster Athletic Community. In a social media post, the school announced that John Friend passed away on June 7th. Mr. Friend dedicated 50 consecutive years to the Munster school system, serving as a football and basketball coach, athletic director, and later on the school board and park board. John Friend's dedication and compassion touched so many lives, and his loss will be deeply felt by all who knew him, the post said. Friend was inducted into the Indiana Football Hall of Fame in 1987. On the baseball diamond, three region teams reached the semi-state championships in baseball. Among those was Morgan Township, who battled two-time defending 1A champion Lafayette Central Catholic. Here's Alex Landowski with that game. Morgan Township just one win away from the state championship. Cherokee's looking to make school history versus Lafayette Central Catholic. Knights scored one run each in the first two innings. Fast forward to the top of the fifth with two outs. Ball gets past the catcher and Clint Lemon scores from third. Two to one now and the Cherokees are fired up. LCC tacked on two more runs in the bottom half, so it's 4-1 in the sixth, and Brady Walters draws the walk. Matthew Lowenthal comes in. Next batter is Grant Calger with the bases loaded, and he grounds it to the first baseman. He's out, but Matthew Simer scores, and it's 4-3. Top of the seventh, bases loaded, two outs. Cherokees with a chance to tie or take the lead, but it's another grounder to first. He steps on the bag, and that's the game. Morgan Township takes the defending back-to-back -back 1A champions to the brink. 4-3 is the final. Ileana Christian and Lake Central did reach the 2 and 4A state championship games. The Vikings meet Providence on Saturday at 3.30 and LC takes on Mooresville in the following game at 7 p.m. Central. Please stay with Jed TV this week with coverage of both clubs as they prepare for the big game. To read about more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia and this has been your 219 News Now.